Hello and greetings from Raleigh, North Carolina. My name is Stephen Andrew with Applied Research Associates. I wanted to put together a quick little video to help demonstrate uh, what the ARC-4 system is and how it can benefit your warfighter. At its heart, the ARC-4 Recon is this box that mounts to the helmet. Uh, it uh, essentially measures head position, so it's, uh, it's constantly trying to calculate where the user is in the world and where, uh, and where they're looking. On the front of the helmet, we have a, uh, currently a, a day display uh, equipped. This allows the system to be used in uh, periods of light or uh, times when night vision goggles are not appropriate. As you can see, we do have a, a cable tether. The cable runs into uh, your existing solar system uh, hub. Uh, in this case, I'm running a black diamond hub. However, we also have an interface with the Glen Air systems. On the front, you'll see that I'm, I'm running a, a battle management system ATAC. Uh, we do have uh, early integration work with FACNAV and some other battle management systems out there in the world. Uh, so whatever system that it is that you end up choosing, it's likely that we would also be able to uh, provide integration. It's the battle management system that we pull all the information from. So uh, we're constantly scraping your battle management system to understand what information has come in. Uh, and what we do is we, we, we simply take it and we, we pull it up to the soldier's eye uh, and we draw uh, locations of where that information is uh, real time. The main advantage there is the warfighter no longer needs to rely on looking at the, the phone uh, on, their, uh, on their chest. Uh, instead, uh, the ARC-4 system allows for them to uh, allows them to keep a heads-up, eyes-out posture in the world around them. Uh, we do have a variety of displays that work with the ARC-4 system. Uh, as I mentioned, we do have a day display available. However, we also uh, have interface with. Uh, existing night vision goggles through a device called the Cobiz. I'm just going to hold that up there for you a little bit. It's a clip-on uh, injector uh, that will clip onto the front of your goggle or the objective lens. Uh, and then that same cable that runs into the day display would run into the, um, run into the, the injector here. So you get the same experience both day and night. You can see we have interoperability with a, a number of different night vision goggles on the market today. Uh, if you were to place an order for ARC-4 Recon and you wanted to support night vision uh, operations, you would simply need to tell us what goggle we need to interface with so we can uh, supply the appropriate mounting bracket on the, on the goggle itself. We also work with uh, the uh, ECODI. Uh, if you guys have a, a thermal injector, uh, we can likely uh, also use that as a display. Uh, we recently did some work uh, to allow uh, more eye relief behind the, uh, the displays themselves. So both the day display and our night vision goggles now work with uh, various systems such as uh, snow goggles, Gas mask is a, an M50 Pro mask. It's a fairly fairly commonly found uh, mask on the market. Um, and I'll demonstrate uh, how those all kind of come together here in just a moment. So as you can see here, I have the 615 Day HUD uh, equipped with uh, my ARC-4 Recon, uh, which allows me to see all that information in, in periods of light. Although these are not uh, military grade uh, goggles, uh, it is a good placeholder just to kind of show you that you can still use the day display through uh, eye protection with, a, uh, with the extended eye box profile that we've recently created. Here you can see that the uh, day display also works with a gas mask. You would have to understand what model of gas mask that you wanted to interoperate with before we could give you the thumbs up that it would work. Uh, here's just an example of a gas mask working with uh, the augmented reality system.
When the time comes to transition to my night vision goggles, the display swap is relatively straightforward. Thank you for your time and attention and interest in the ARC4 recon system. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to reach out to myself. I will leave you with our contact information, and I hope you have a great day.